When you look at what I do, I don't wish that on nobody. I might want in a different way, in a way that you ain't willing to risk for. You can't get this given to you. I let people, my family know, this comes first, cause ain't nothing after this. You know what we back to doing after this. Everybody gonna catch they run, but you gotta be careful. A nigga might try to talk you into doing some dumb shit, cause you think, okay, this is my chance. That's not your chance. These execs you couldn't get in the room with, they watch you now, now you got their phone number. The shit that you wanted to do, you doing it now. I don't live my life like a nigga gonna do something. I ain't in the motherfucking back alleys for him, in no place where I know I don't belong at. If anything happened to me, when Meek came in, was doing his thing, we haven't seen a new street rapper who was on some lyrical shit, wearing them big chains, pulling up Looking in them big like benzes. We love that. I might wear two of these. That feel like no jewelry to me. Yeah, that shit happened 4 30 in the morning. She sleep, smoke the tap, beep. Them motherfuckers come not even suited and booted. What? And you've done everything in the streets you possibly could do. What do you think it costs you to be who you are today? It cost me everything, my nigga. Another episode of the fastest growing podcast on the market. You know the vibes is high, the vibrations is always high. You know, I know they thought I ain't had no love up north. You know, I, I know they thought that I wasn't gonna tap in up north because I'm from the south. But boy, we love real all around the world. And today, man, we tapping in with one of the best artists for the new era, Benny the Butcher. What's going on, my brother? Ah, the butcher coming. What's going on, my guy? Man, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. We was just chopping major game in yes, the sir. parking lot. Yes, sir. Easy, too. Mm -hmm. And I think the feel is important, right? We was talking about it, and we gonna get right into it. I don't yeah. do the interviews like the, these other guys. I like to just have conversations, you know? We gonna get right into it. We was talking about, I feel like rappers is at war. Mm -hmm. I feel like that there's a subsection of the culture that's carving rappers out and, and trying to place them over in the corner right. and blame a certain amount of things on them. And you was explaining to me that drug dealing culture and this certain criminal culture has mm -hmm. been around long before music. Yeah, just because you know, I'm a rapper. I'm I'm one of the niggas who, 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 who I see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm looking at it, you know what I mean? And some of it, uh, and some of it, some of it offends me. You know what I'm saying? That the the blame that they put on the uh, the rappers, but it's all street culture. We was influenced by the streets. You know what I'm saying? We didn't come up with this shit out of nowhere. I feel like a lot of times they give they give us too much credit. Like we invented this. Shit. You right. know what I'm saying we ain't invented, and we we either we either two things. We either victims of it or we or we successors from it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we did what we did with it, but it's all from the streets right. all from the streets so and yeah, i mean I, and, and and those who don't understand that probably hasn't grew up in a way where they experienced it and, and the documentation of it just mm -hmm. hits them in a certain way right because i know that this shit is just documentation mm -hmm. this is just what's happening and sometimes they get lost in understanding that what what beneficial things the rap shit is done how right. much resourceful rap culture has been right. right we got jay we got you we got a number of black yeah. men um that lives were saved man you know what i mean had no other choice no, no other shit. option mm -hmm. that way down in the ghetto with this shit you know tell them what niggas will be doing you know what i'm saying i ain't not even me just like the other young fellas you exactly. know what i'm saying across the country across exactly. the world you know what exactly. what I mean? and us too Mm -hmm. Right, especially right. I was looking uh, when they, you know, you were saying you been to the state and the feds. Mm -hmm. Ain't no telling where it is if it wasn't for this. Shit. That's a fact. Real because shit. Like, you're guaranteeing is people we living like this. That's a fact. We 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 only know to get it. We've been chasing. We just in a different lane. No matter what a motherfucker was doing, we gonna go 130 percent with it. Thank God that is what we doing today. You know right. what I mean? Right. And the idea that that, that that we try to cut that off, it's important that we understand how influential and, and, and resourceful that that is. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. when, but like, I don't mean to cut you off, no, but like you were saying, we was talking about it. Is, it is a, a level of responsibility rappers got to take. Right. You know what I'm saying? To to show these kids and to show other people who listening, guys our age, who right. ain't going to, if another motherfucker say they might not listen, right. just let them know it's two sides to this. Exactly. It's two sides. Right. And, 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 it, and if anybody listen, listen to Benny the Butcher, you know I, all I talk about is both sides. You know what I'm saying? And I pride myself on that because 
we can't make this one side too heavy. We can't make that one side too heavy. It's a it's a fifty fifty coin. You know what right. I'm saying? You gotta let they, people they know. They like the glorification of this game. Yes, this they game, do. And, and and you know some the street fame is addictive. It's it's even addictive to rappers, right? Mm -hmm. The street fame hit different than the rap fame. That's a even fact. Even though the rap fame got the money, mm -hmm. the street fame hit different. But the street fame hate the rap fame. That's a fact. It's a weird mix that's happening. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You know what but mean? the street fame, some go with that. It's some now with the he a street fame type guy. It's the respect. The respect. It's the respect that's that comes it with is. it. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's what people want. Cause after the money, after you check the money off, after you check the the power off, after you check the just the foreigns or, and the, whatever off. You know what I'm saying? They're like it's a checklist. I just want to check that off. Sure. But like you said, when you know when niggas came from that, you know what I'm saying? You know that, that box been checked off. Yeah. And, and and when you and when you're in it and these rappers, I don't give a f what you done. Right. I don't give a f what I done, nigga. When I pull when I when I pop when I pull up in the building, they don't see me as a street. Nigga. Facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? They Facts. see me as a rapper. Right. No and matter I'm what I done. As a LLC around this month. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And, and I'm and I'm and I'm not pulling up as a street. Facts. I'm a rapper, literally. Exactly. So you know what I mean. So like you said, the lines get blurred, get twisted. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I think though, as long as we speak on it, these conversations is needed, right? And it's important that people like us have them. It's important the suckers get out the way too, though. And I'm I'm gonna speak on that myself because mm -hmm. I want to empower real niggas to know that it's space for them, mm -hmm. right? That's what you've done with the music. You've empowered real niggas to know now nah, it's space. No, that's a fact. Right, it's a vibe. The music industry has moved into a vibe place, but now nah, it's space for mm -hmm. real talk. Now we can get our shit off. Exactly. Pull up. Pull exactly. up. Exactly. So you know just man? be diligent in your approach and be authentic in your stance. You know, how have you stayed authentic in this bullshit ass industry though? Uh, surrounding my people, surrounding myself around my people. You know what I'm saying? My close ones, always. You know what I'm saying? I, I came under, I came in the game under Wes and Conway's wing. I'm never getting big headed like I don't need them. Or I could do that on my own. I'm never like that. I'm always tapping in with the homies and like, what's the next move? Or, and I'm saying this, I'm just still me. I'm gonna remain me. Like I tell people, I didn't, I didn't get get close to none of this until I was 32. Facts, and that's you know so that important. counts. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean, yes. that counts for me because you come in with information, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. so important. And niggas understand the money is cool. All this shit is cool. We was talking about intel and how certain. Rappers get the money, but bypass all of the close calls we had, mm -hmm. all of the run-ins we had that we had to throw something. It just spared the moment instincts that saved us. And nowadays they go from the internet to reality. Mm -hmm. And on the internet ain't nothing at stake. And in reality, everything's everything. at risk. Everything. And so they got to operate in this weird place. We come from where we got some information now to go with the money. And sometimes it's a blessing God wait to put you in these situations. And that was my biggest blessing. And that was my biggest blessing. There's niggas who, who are artists who came who came around, you you never hear from them again, you know what I'm saying? So and I feel like I'm just getting started just just diving in it. So that was my biggest blessing right. is me not getting this too early. You right. know what I mean? Right, because anything too early is not a blessing. I don't give a damn what mm -hmm. it is. You don't want that. A blessing too early ain't a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, you can't handle it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and the intel and information, man, I think um, coming from this game or coming from the street culture, what, what did you take into this game from, from the street culture? Man, I took, I, I like to say one of the things I took is the way I handle business. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if, if we if we in a room on some street shit, and this, and this is hard to do. Right. If we, if we doing business on, 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 a, on a street level, you know what I mean? For the most part, everything's solid because we're not even risking that. You know what I mean? Because you know it's, 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 it's death or jail, yeah. if anything else. Like, right. if niggas in a room, we trust them. Right. And it's the same thing like that. I'm only doing business with people who, who's transparent with me, people who I could trust. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm just not jumping in it for the money or nothing, no bullshit like that, nothing for no, for no fame or no followers or no weird shit like that. It's like, I got to feel comfortable doing this business because that's the most important part. I ain't going to be able to sleep at night. Right. I got to feel comfortable. So I took that in, and, and, and me operating like that, people know they could trust me. Cause they know I'm serious. So like yo, whatever. Whenever we do business with him, we know what he's standing on. You know right, what I'm saying? Cause right. he expect the same from us. So I think I definitely took that. Shit. Any big dogs wrap their arms around you in a way that's effective. I ain't talking about the fake, right? Cause this mm -hmm. this industry is, is weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be empowered in a way where they really hand you some information. Mm -hmm. You know, and you come in with it and with an understanding. Have any big dogs gave you some information, just to where you felt like. 
if I if I had a hundred million dollar deal on the on the table, I'd reach out to mm -hmm. such and such. Man, hell yeah. And, and being the type of nigga that I am, I'm I'm asking. Right. That's what that's what I'm asking. That's what make us unique, bro. We gotta tell the young it's mm -hmm. all right to ask. It's okay to Searching ask. Searching is cool. Real shit. And, yeah. and expect you to ask That's what you don't think Like right. like in my position When I go around And I'm around up and coming I'm expecting them To ask me questions exactly. You know what I'm saying So the a lot of the big homies Is too But hell yeah You know what yeah. I mean uh, Kicked it with me Chopped it up with me Let me know the play I fuck with Rose You know what I'm saying He always kicking game Rose. Rose always kicking game yeah. Everybody know Hove Always kicking game yeah, he uh, Emery always kicking game Who yeah. else Raekwon yeah. Always kicking game yeah. Early uh, Man I can go on and on and on Cause right. like they they see the face in the room hungry listening. Right. They like he 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 want the he information. Want us. Yeah. Now he and that too. He want us, but he yeah. want the information. Yeah, so. that's what I mean. Because I mean? only us want the information. That's a fact. A that's a fact. Just want a little money, and that's how you trick them. Mm. And we know these type of niggas. They could they could be kicking us with anybody. Right. So if they and so if they talking to you and that you know what I mean on that level is like we Means, we know exactly right, right right and we respect that there's mm -hmm. a lot of shit don't gotta be said mm -hmm. and we was talking about our side too the understanding that we may move with that some of the rap guys may not move with right mm -hmm. we have a certain level of like if you violate this shit, there will be circumstances that's uncomfortable for everybody involved and sometimes the young is mimic the rappers right. um I think that you said before, I'm not a role model, I'm an example. Exactly. Let's talk about that a little bit. Basic, basically, it's like, I don't, don't, when you look at what I do, if you gonna follow, if you gonna follow after a month, what, what a person do, you gotta see the consequences for the actions too. Whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast, ad-free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't wish that on nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just see, see the good things that I done. Let me be an example. How, how you would have, how you would have did that, but you wouldn't have did that. Right. Like that nigga Benny did that. I, I ain't doing that. You right. know what I'm saying? That, right. that was an example of how he fucked up. Right. But. Also take the examples of how a nigga won. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a role model. I might I might won in a different way, in a way that you ain't willing to risk for. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so don't take my actions out of it, take my demeanor out of it, my hustle, my, my determination out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Real shit. You know what I mean? Cause you know, you know, you know, a lot of niggas who a lot of niggas who who we who we don't who we don't fuck with. Who on the other side? We can still we real niggas. We can re we can still recognize hustle in them exactly. too. We can still learn exactly. from them. Hustle. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, so. that's information based. I was telling somebody yesterday, like I'm rarely emotionally tied to anything. You mm. know what I'm saying? I'm more so information about everything. So when I look at things, even with relationships, somebody was asking me about just dealing with women and falling in love and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I think that costs a lot to be in love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you motherfucking and we, we, and, and that's financially. We can set that off the table. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the the cost of it, just emotionally, spiritually. Just right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. You understand what Real I'm saying? Shit. Because it's just a lot involved when you're a man and you want the men that are. Pro I'm a problem solver type guy. Mm -hmm. So if you if you want a man, if something pop up, I'm trying. What's that over there? Yeah, all right? mm -hmm. it ain't cool. So, and you, I got a goal. I'm trying to reach. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it gets us in the way. Did do you find yourself because your goal calls for a lot of your attention? Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself um, trying to battle with with re relationships and in the hustle? Of course, of course, because I'm for one, I'm a man, and for two, it's like. I'm chasing what I'm chasing. I'm still on the chase. Right. Even though people might look at me like, nigga, I, I might be at their finish line, right. but I'm at my starting line. So it's like, it's hard. I got, I, I let people, my family know. I let the homies know. I let people who I work with know, like, this comes first. Because ain't nothing after this. You know what we back to doing after right. this. So this comes first. Right. So we got to deal with this first, and then we could deal with that. I, and right. I hate to be selfish, but at times you got to be selfish. Is it, is it selfish? Because like, right, right. It's, it's like, damn, you gonna send me back to the streets with a famous face? Because what's established is we gonna live like this here, mm -hmm. right? The cars we drive, the house, well, this is how we demand in the mm -hmm. universe have it that we live. Straight like that, right? So now I'm telling you, 
Don't bother me about this hustle thing. Don't. Let me rock. Let me rock out mm-hmm. while this is popping. Real shit, motherfuckers. Like, yo, damn, you, you going here again? You going? I'm, I'm outside. I'm everywhere. Man, I'm everywhere, nigga. I'm calls going. for me. Exactly. Nigga. I'm working. It might look like I'm having fun to some niggas, but a lot right. of times a nigga working, being right, in these right. rooms or standing on these couches or going to a party just to meet somebody, just to meet a motherfucker who I know gonna be there, right. just to get in their business. I'm going to a party. I fly five, five hours just to go. And I can tell the dope boys because th- these niggas here don't got no finesse. If they mm-hmm. don't understand what you just said, that means they don't. They operate with zero finesse. No real shit, nigga. I'm finesse king, mm-hmm. right? I know how to get here, and get there, and like I was telling somebody, man, I'm, I've been. On on the road 18 days mm-hmm. I've been able to move around with five suitcases you understand the finesse it calls for you to show up <laughs> to the airport with five one man cause they looking while you in line they looking oh boy I'm transitioning mm-hmm. on you bitches you mm-hmm. can't handle see this the business man they, they can't handle us bro mm-hmm. just the idea <clears throat> because what I'm doing is I ain't struggling I understand the dope game so I'm saying 50 dollars grab it for me right there 50 mm-hmm. 30 I'm utilizing this little money. Mm-hmm. Third and grand. Is a, third and a, I'm just paying everybody to do something. Hey, man, wheel check me over there. I guess I'm paying everybody that's now. It, that's I you you see, but it's finesse involved in that. Had it been somebody else, they'd be saying, how in the fuck can I get from New York to Atlanta? Right now on the drop of a that like we can put that those yeah. kind of plays together. Niggas hustling on a whole different wavelength. And that's what I learned too by being around a room full of millionaires more frequently than I ever been. Man, niggas hustle different. You know what I mean? Gotta hustle different. You exactly. know what I mean? Gotta hustle different. Exactly. And then in relationships, let's get back to that. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people that's in relationships with a lot of unmet needs. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a thing to be in a relationship with unmet needs because people are settling, right? Because my needs is, shout out, you can't get involved or in the way with this here. Right. They talking money that you can't see. If you make me fumble this ball, you can't recover it. You can't recover this. We going back to the streets and I'm going to jail. Mm-hmm. Real shit. You it's can't do what deal. I do. You can't do it. Can't do and can't I nobody do. around you mm-hmm. do it. Please allow God to bless this situation in a way where we can mm-hmm. benefit from it. And most women understand that, but some get in the way. They don't. I tell you this. Sometimes I think that we come from a street. We hustlers. So someone we love can see our hustle activate love out of us that they haven't got. Mm-hmm. Right? I believe Attention that. Attention out of us that they haven't got. Mm-hmm. Man, you'll get up early for that shit. And that's you a say fact. you love me. That's a fact. You know, damn, you... Oh, that's, that's one of their best excuses. <laughs> oh, you would do that for that? Like, yeah, because without that, ain't no that. Exactly. Give me that back then. Right. Would you love me if this shit right. go out the window? That's how I got you. Fuck is you saying? <laughs> is we going to ignore the facts of this? Mm-hmm. Right? And... I mean, a lot of times, like you said, man, people, people, I mean, you got to be selfish, man. You got to let a motherfucker know. Even if you're dealing with a female who who's at a point in her life where she's at the cusp of something great right. and she's just into working on herself. Right. You might be have to be a nigga like, I take the background on that. I know what that's like, man. shorty. I know what that's like. Fuck you, man. I know what that's I like. I respect that information man. I got. You on Real fire. Shit. Any relationship you in, you... It's, you, you you should be an add-on or that or your significant other. It should be an add-on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You don't never want to be a takeaway. You always want to add on. You know what I'm exactly. saying? You got to understand that. You know, a nigga, ain't, a nigga ain't breaking his neck to, you know, to, to make a life, to make a bitch life easier for nothing. Right. Like, you got to make my life easier. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, it's like, and that's another thing. You know, a lot of motherfuckers think you ran this bag up to, to be Jeffrey for them, to be man. at their service. What you doing, man? I mean, that, it's my dream that man, I work man, for. I'm having plenty of game to execute this shit. Exactly. Well, I'm trying to help people understand that please don't fade me. You see the kind of game I'm executing. <laughs> Real you shit. see the rooms and shit I'm in. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. What's this low level shit you trying to play on me that no, I'm ignoring because I love you? Right? You stealing from me and doing mm-hmm. little shit. I'm trying to just... Because I love you, right? Mm-hmm. I got people doing things to me that I'm uncomfortable with, but I love them. And, man, that's a weird thing, man. Yeah, hell yeah. And then, you know, that happened to all of us. You know what I'm saying? When, when they get in that position and it's like... It's like, what the fuck you do? Because cause when you do... Because when you do, the only thing that you could do, you know, you got to fall back from a motherfucker. Yeah. What yeah. they do. They blame you like you did something. Right. And then you feel guilty... You got a little survivor's remorse for people who you know, cause it, 
it hurts you when people you love and you know love you do something to disappoint you. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, you come on, not you. Man. That's some of the that's some of the most painful man, shit. Man, that shit hurt, man, because I can't cut you off because it because it ain't that serious. But mm-hmm. it's like you you just changed every time I left you somewhere. I think different about them rooms I let you in now, man. No real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate, man. That that shit be hurting me, man. I was telling y'all somebody broke in my car. Right, right. Little niggas don't play around here, man. Mm -hmm. They had a whole scheme going on, man. They had a nigga. I'm telling you, they were casing the joint, man. Nigga come out of nowhere, man. But they, I think they saw me struggling. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they doing this thing, and it's Christmas time, and the wolves got to eat. Right, right. I made a mistake, though. I made a couple of mistakes, but... I knew my surroundings, you know, I knew where I was at, and I hated that. You ever had a hard drive come up missing, anything like that? Nah, man, I, n- I, n- I never done that. No, I never had that Thank come God. up missing, man. Real shit. I, I, I be seeing that happen often. Man. Real shit. That shit fucked up. I ha- I lose my phones all the time, though. I be having, nigga, you know, already know the contacts that be in them Ooh. phones. I lose my phones all the time. You know what I'm saying it's, it's a lot of niggas out there who think I ain't hit them back or I just lost touch. Nigga, I lost the phone. Nigga, hit me up. Man. <laughs> Do you think? Have you ever felt like it was a um, New York versus Buffalo thing? Which Hell you, yeah, for real. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, because only because before rap and you was spitting that shit. You and right. you spitting that shit. I'm saying like b- before rap. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a thing. It's like oh they not the bros. Like you you go on the internet and find that on the internet any second. They say. Anything people it's, it'd be a joke and shit, but you know it's, it's some truth yeah, to it. Yeah, well, How they yeah. say New York is only New York is only the boroughs and nothing upstate. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? They try to separate it. Like, you know, the, you know the, the little brother thing, right, and I get it. You know, right. it's the Big Apple, but I think the the music through the music and I'm getting to realize our characters. I think that changed a lot about the shit. Right. But hell yeah, you know what I'm you saying? Carry but hell flag, yeah. And again, you got that hustler spirit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think they should understand that they most real niggas across the globe understand our spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm for saying? For the most part, for the most part, you know niggas niggas salute it. Right. But before they salute it, they check it out. Ooh, they want to make they want to make sure. They want to make sure. They check the tag on it mm-hmm. several times. <laughs> Real shit. They want to oh y'all niggas from Buffalo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but. That's unfortunate. We was talking about this a good conversation. Mm-hmm. That niggas are where that ego. Yeah. Right? And sometimes yeah. that invite is like Oh, you mm-hmm. want to invite me over there, right? Yeah, you wanna yeah. Want to do that? Mm-hmm. When niggas, when niggas call you, a well-known hood too. Right, say, right, pull right. Pull up on me, niggas and God. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we out here. Pull up. We on the way. That's Sometimes it, that's niggas it. win. Cause them. like we were saying, like as a, as a rap nigga, you know, you still for the niggas who 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 still playing that position, or you don't want niggas to look at you in a certain way, cause you know they test us. They test rap niggas. Mm. So you get that call to pull up to that studio or some shit like that. You like, I mean, you got your guys with you, and niggas like, shit, we pulling up, we there. And these for niggas features? Did shoot in the crowd about a nigga, so mm-hmm. they gonna make sure you come. Real shit, real they shit. They gonna say you good, bro. And then sometimes, bro, we feel like our value lies in that, right? Mm-hmm. Some of my men they think that I'm hiring hit men every time mm-hmm. I go to the hood. Mm-hmm. It's like now you know we'll do it now. Mm-hmm. I hate when my nigga say that. I be like, I don't want you a nigga. When a nigga never tell me, come. every time a nigga tell me like, yo, I die for you. I be like, I just need you to live I for me. I myself for you know what I mean? Them I need niggas, you to live that's for dumb. Me. Mm-hmm. Right, respectfully to my homeboy, but they ain't smart enough to be in these circles, man. No real shit. They gonna shit. make a bad decision. And with that ego shit, uh, taking up on them invites, you know that shit that niggas gotta gotta deal with and suppress. Because you know Still what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Because we playing for the long game, but I've been through that. That's nothing I'm into now, but you know, I definitely been through that, niggas. Right. Man, and you, a nigga ain't about to be on no internet telling something. He called Benny the Butcher right. to pull up. Nigga was and scared they, to pull man, up. Hell no, nah, we ain't yeah, doing that. They we ain't doing that. Do that shit. Real shit. That's a you fact. Know what I'm saying you had a couple of run-ins in this game. What did what that shit be about? These rap niggas be starting fake beef and shit, or what is that shit? To me, to me, I feel like my situation with the rapper with the, with, was fake, cause. Me and him done sat down and kicked it like real niggas. Yeah. I ain't never did nothing to no for nobody. Yeah. I'm not even that type of nigga. I'm not even here for that. I'm not even here for that, especially if we on songs together and we discussing doing albums together, nigga. I'm never violating. That's that's not in my nature. So I think Yeah, you know what I mean? It was a ploy for a nigga to, to get a couple more views or a couple more, you know what I'm saying? But I was offended what offended me most by because I you know, I'm I'm in the realm, I'm not in the streets. That happens here. Under this roof of hip hop and this shit, that that happens here. Yeah. So I'm not charging it to a nigga like, want some. What I did was, 
I, I charged it to him as a friend because I thought we was cool. Right. I, I learned that. I, I learned quick about this shit. And then I charged it like, like nigga, they nigga sweet. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? That's right. what I really charged it. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what really be. You know what I mean? Because you yeah. know a nigga like that had runners with other niggas. Right. And I feel like, you know, pick uh, me. I, ain't, I ain't the one to pick. Come on, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas have spent time around each other. I thought niggas, yeah. I thought niggas knew that. Right, right. But. Like I said, under this realm of hip hop, and you know that shit happens here. I've yeah. been gearing up when I when I first signed my contract. I'm like, which rap nigga I'm gonna get into it with? That's fucked up. We gotta <laughs> Bro, do shit. that. We got like, yeah, I'm shit. coming into this shit. Mm-hmm. Which one of these media niggas ain't gonna like this? That's it. That's it. Cause you Pop know that's how it go. Shit. And then that's... we sitting down having these kind of conversations. Mm-hmm. They can't media dudes. What you feel about media? How you feel about like? I feel not, like, not the not the legends, right? Mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. they scratched off. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that there's a tier under the Charlemagne's, the E Bros, the mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. of that shit, the big boys, all of that legendary mm-hmm, shit, the hot mm-hmm. night. There's a tier under that, right? That is making millions of dollars. Shout out Wallow Gilly, mm-hmm. right? There's people doing their thing, but I think that we need these kind of conversations highlighted more, man. And I'm mm-hmm. proud that we get to sit down and chop this kind of game. Up. Yeah, yeah. Man. How do you feel about media in this game right now? Man, uh, well, I feel like with this platform, like you said, with Wallow, Gil, uh, what, what Math Hoffa doing. Shout out to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like there are a lot of good, and a couple of other niggas, and my niggas I ain't name out. Man. I did just did the joint with uh, Maul and Rory. We had a good conversation. Maul, I just had Maul too. You know Shout out Maul. Shout out Ro- Rory I think, too. Man, I'm happy where it's at. Right. I'm happy where it's at, and we get to talk. Right. But you know, everybody's shit gonna be unique. Yo, shit gonna be unique. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when when I when I pull up here, I know what you want. Exactly. I know we kicking it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And nigga and, and the nigga pulling up for the conversation. Right. So your shit gonna be unique. But I feel. All the other shit, all the all the baiting shit, and that's all of that shit that get it. that yeah. that's nasty. And it's dangerous. That that's dangerous yeah. and it's nasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't know why a nigga would want to antagonize rappers, young right. black men. Right. Uh, in a way, in a way, who live off their reputation. Who live off? Who live off? Who live off? Uh, you know, other like you said, other niggas ready to crash for a nigga. It, immediately ready to crash out for a yeah. nigga. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's nasty. You know what I mean? I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 that shit disgusting to me. You like know, I niggas see, getting on there. Soon as, soon as some bad shit, niggas don't be never talking about a nigga that's music. Up. You never gotta talk die about a nigga or music. go to jail, get shot, or have some unfortunate mm-hmm. happen to you to get coverage from these niggas. Nah, real shit, man. I, 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 I hate that for us, man. As rap niggas, I don't like that shit, man. And, and I know, like in life, life taught me this, man. Everybody gonna catch they run. Everybody gonna catch they run. But you gotta be careful. Cause some people might think you might you a nigga might try to talk you into to doing some dumb shit. Cause you think okay, this this is my chance. That's not your chance. Exactly. So you know a lot of niggas look at this as their opportunity to right. to be what they wanted to be or earn the money they want to earn. Right. You know what I'm saying even if it comes with causing bullshit or tearing down niggas. You know what I'm saying. And niggas is with it. By all means, you know niggas want this paper. Niggas want this and they want the look too. Man, you know what that's saying? what killer nigga. We was talking about that, like that killer nigga, the fame that the rapper get. Yeah, that's why exactly. I think the war Real is shit on for you mm-hmm. niggas, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you feel it. When do you decide not to go jury down or not to have the homeboys with you as deep? Or whoa, 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 hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love. It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast ad free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. Niggas and my niggas, I ain't name out. I, I did just did the joint with uh, Maul and Rory. We had a good conversation. Maul, I just had Maul too. You know Shout out Maul. Shout out Rory too. I think, too. man, I'm happy where it's at. Right. I'm happy where it's at, and we get to talk. Right. But you know, everybody's shit gonna be unique. Yo, shit gonna be unique. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when when I when I pull up here, I know what you want. Exactly. I know we kicking it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And nigga and, and the nigga pulling up for the conversation. Right. So your shit gonna be unique. But I feel all the other shit, all the all the baiting shit. And that's all of that shit, that about, get that yeah. that's nasty. And it's dangerous. That that's dangerous and yeah. it's nasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't know why a nigga would want to in, antagonize rappers, young right. black men. Right. Uh, in a way, in a way, who live off their reputation. Who live off? Who live off? Who live off? Uh, you know, other like you said, other niggas ready to crash for a nigga. It, immediately ready to crash out for a yeah. nigga. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's nasty. You know what I mean? I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 that shit disgusting to me. You like know, I niggas see, getting on there. Soon as, soon as some bad shit, niggas don't be never talking about a nigga that's music. Fucked up. You never gotta die about a nigga or music. go to jail, get shot, or have some unfortunate mm-hmm. happen to you to get coverage from these niggas. Nah, real shit, man. I, 
I, I hate that for us, man. As rap niggas, I don't like that shit, man. And, and I know, like in life, life taught me this, man. Everybody gonna catch they run. Everybody gonna catch they run. But you gotta be careful. Cause some people might think you might you a nigga might try to talk you into to doing some dumb shit because you think okay this this is my chance that's not your chance exactly so you know a lot of niggas look at this as their opportunity to right. to be what they wanted to be or earn the money they want to earn right you know what I'm saying even if it comes with causing bullshit or tearing down niggas you know what I'm saying and niggas is with it by all means you know niggas want this paper niggas want this and they want the look too. Man, you know what that's what killer nigga. We was talking about that, like that killer nigga, the fame that the rapper get. Yeah, that's why exactly. I think the war Real is shit on for you mm -hmm. niggas, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel it. When do you decide not to go jury down and not to have the homeboys with you as deep, or is it always military because I've been shot, or you know what's the vibes on that? When do you when the, sometimes go no jury, no nothing? Man, I the butch rarely go no jury. Yeah, and and only because. Only because, like, if a nigga, if a nigga, like, if if I got on this, these two right here, I might wear two of these. Right. That feel like no jewelry to me. Right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? That's right. You know how that yeah, shit go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's feel like no jewelry to right. me. With the less I wear, if I'm just wearing some little right. shit. But you know, we always move a militant. And, and guess what? I'm just being real, and nigga. And when and, and when I'm not. My niggas around me are cussing me to fuck out. They heard like right. you was weird. Right. You went to the movies. Right. And you they went need to, to be like. You know what I'm saying? You. Like they they need to be. Yeah. So I pretty much know where I'm moving and, and know where to move at. Yeah. And, and know how not to move. But you like this shit. This shit ain't no ain't no alarm clock for this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't coming on schedule. They when they come, they post to surprise you. When it happened, they post mm. to be a surprise. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't no alarm clock. You know, everybody feel like they gonna see it coming. You ain't gonna see that shit coming, mm. man. You know you what I mean? Post to. You ain't supposed to see it coming. Yeah. That's that's why that's why you gotta always be ready or or not wear this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah, you know like I. I, I I think about it like this. Even after the shit that happened to me, I don't live my life like in and a nigga gonna do something to me. Right. You know what I mean, long as long as a nigga, long as a nigga, not in the, uh, I ain't in the motherfucking back alleys four a.m. and in no place where I, ain't, I mean where I know I don't belong at. And I and I and I always say this is like, if anything happened to me. Whoever do it, whatever happens to them, they're going to deserve it. Yeah, and they're you know going to get it. They're going to deserve it. Whatever, you know what I mean? chick fucking with this shit. That's sure. it. Whatever, I mean, yeah. whatever the Lord got planned for you, yeah. that's how it's going to happen yeah. to you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So. But, you know, we speak life over this shit. We speak five, six, seven, eight hundred million over this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, the universe, we demanding that money. You know Real what I'm shit. saying? Um, will you do a versus at this point? Man, I. you know what? I... I feel like the verses is for guys who got bigger records than what I got. I think I need an, I think I need two summers to do a verses. I think I think niggas been having a eye on like these type of artists though because they because they done ran through all the top yeah, artists. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think to bring it an, another level to it because that dip set and lock shit kind of show people street music a rock in that, yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker went to the moon. Street music a rock and I feel I need a couple more chapters, you know what I'm saying? What, what kind of record you looking for to do? What vein you looking to live in to accomplish that, though? Uh, records with big feeling, because that's what I seen. From watching the verses, I seen not the records with the most sales, the records that got the biggest feeling. Mm. It's the records that people fuck with. So when people say, like, yo, he gonna beat him in the verses, I'm like, he sold way more to him. But this guy, like, his records are culture. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the, the, the more cultural records, those always win. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I know a lot of niggas fuck with Griselda, but... We still chasing it down. We still building our audience and shit. You know Do I mean? you feel like you got to be into the vibe or you can stay in your pocket and I'm going to get it out this pocket. I'm in this room right here. It's in this room. Mm, I'm glad you asked that. Because guess what? A nigga feel like I don't never got to leave this pocket. And, you know, this pocket got me here. This right. pocket this pocket's been good to me. Yes, Lord. You feel what I'm saying? And and, and I, feel like I, I feel like I'm one of the most accomplished underground rappers. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit come from the underground. You know what I mean? So it's like, when y'all go back and look at it, I done did everything a nigga could do as far as from the underground. So, now, do a nigga want to go do poppy music? And uh, No, I don't want to. I want to keep doing what I, I want to keep connected with the people. Right. And nigga, I'm nice on my level. I might not be nice that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you might fuck this up doing that. For sure. And even, even with me, I caught myself listening to one of my favorite artist albums and uh he was kind of switching up the vibe and i love that because 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 when you fuck with artists you want them to grow right. let's talk about that too yes, you want so. them to grow yes, so i know 
he's looking for his growth, and I want that for him. So, you know what I mean? I, I was feeling the whole album. But as soon as it got back to the street shit, I sat up in my seat. That's it. I sat up in yeah. my seat, and then I thought about, okay, I'm going to have niggas. Niggas might have to sit back up in their seat. You can't never stray away from this shit. You always want niggas to sit back up in their seat. But what comes with that is, like, with the, with the new audience fail to realize a lot, what the old audience fail to realize is you got a new audience. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like a nigga's around, like a, a nigga know a lot of females. A nigga know a lot of females. Real shit. You got niggas, you got niggas who 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 might listen to like the South niggas fuck with me. The South niggas fuck with me. Love you. They waiting for me to make some shit that that's more in they lane. Right. That they can hop in they right, shit right, right, and play. Right, like, right. okay, now nah, okay. Talk he that talking shit, that shit. Talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause it happened. When they hear little glimpses of it, right, they right. happen. The females waiting for me, like, yo, Benny, nigga, make that record for us. Right. We're gonna listen to the street shit, but make that record for us. You know what I'm saying? So right. hell yeah, I, I wanna I wanna make that record for them. You know what I'm saying? I wanna make that record for the ladies. I wanna make that record for the for the South niggas listen to that trap shit. I wanna make that record for the for the West Coast niggas. Nigga, I wanna make that the Afro Beats record. Nigga, right. nigga that been overseas seeing that right, shit, right, that right, shit right, going to right, club. Right, right. Niggas over there fuck with me. Oh, nigga no, wanna make right. that record for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean nigga definitely gonna try his hand and just try to get good at it. That's what Cole told me though. Yeah. Cole told me get good at it. When you trying this shit, that's just don't go try it. I mean, cause like put the work in, put the like work you in. This. You, exactly. you remember how you got good mm-hmm. with this? Exactly. Don't so do that over there. Don't do it and expect everybody to fuck with it. Get good at it. Right. You know what I mean? So right. I think uh, it's important to understand styles and understand technique, man. You mm-hmm. know, when you go overseas and expand your mind like that, you know, street niggas, especially us, like we we bring it in. We we get intel from over there. that's mm-hmm. like no other. Let's bag that up. Mm-hmm. That was too much game. Mm-hmm. You did too much with that. Mm-hmm. The old audience mm. fails to realize you got a new audience. Why you think that the the, the audience don't want to see the artist grow? What why is there some arrested development right there? I think I think it's a thing where people wanna be known for discovering the artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we was on him first. How many times people tell you, I'll put you on to him? Yeah. But we was on to him first. Yeah. And then so when they see that people hit a certain lane, they're like, man, everybody on to him. I'm on to a certain yeah. new. That's what people do. I, I, I watch... I watch these industry people. I watch regular street motherfuckers. You know when the nigga in the street running the shit, the nigga who holding down the town, as soon as another nigga pop up, they can't wait to throw that nigga in his face. Well, shit, you know such and such over there right, don't right, get right, money right, too. Right, right, right. I seen niggas do that. I seen them put the female artists over each other. I seen them pit them against each other. I seen them like, like, put me against other rappers. Like, yo, what you feel about this nigga? Like, I, lo- I fuck with that nigga. Right. That's what I feel about right, it. Right. I'm acknowledging. So, I feel like they want to be known for discovering them and I feel like they confuse successful with mainstream they think once you get successful once you get mainstream or successful they are oh, you mainstream now like how nigga that's show loaded. me mainstream nigga that's loaded. so you know what I mean and, and you know they, they don't want to see growth and that's just what it is right. you know what I'm saying cause I deal with that with, with, with my fan base right. you know what I mean if they tell me like I said it in the song was like Artists, I said my, my my fans is picky on who I choose to work with. Yo, don't then why you working with this nigga? Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, why you why you you go get on a song with him? Yes, nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm at the office. Yeah. I'm I'm brought in my horizon. And I'm playing algorithm plays. Right, too. right. When the nigga when when Meek when Meek came in was doing his thing, you know, we haven't seen a street rapper like that for a minute. A new street rapper. Right. Of course, Kiss and Fab. Right. We haven't seen a new street rapper who was on some lyrical shit wearing them big chains, pulling up in them like big like benzes. Yeah. We love that. Yes, we like, oh, look, okay, now he's standing next to those niggas, but he represents us. Exactly. That's what I thought. Like, like every, you, it's like the Olympics. You want to see your country stand, ball against these niggas. Like, people want to see me, like, yo, man, why, why Griselda not on that Cali shit? Right. We, you know what I mean? That don't mean niggas switching up, but niggas want to see us up there. The right. niggas who really fuck right, with us. Right, right, right. Some niggas like, man, nah, man, Benny, oh, they doing a song with such and such. Ah, oh, man, them niggas mainstream. Right. Oh, he doing this, man, man yeah. stop that and bullshit, why, why man. Why is a win me staying still for niggas? Like, why is a win me staying here? Mm-hmm. Like, it's a win. Nah, nah, you kept your, nah, you kept it gangster. You said, nah, I ain't jumping on that Khaled shit or yep, yep. whatever it might real be. Real shit, like, real nah, shit. Nigga, niggas, niggas will say some win. dumb shit. Yeah. Because it's like, where, 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 where my starting line at right now? Where, where how, how I am today? Where, where my account at today? Niggas would be like, man, that's all some niggas need. Right. That's what you know I mean. How many, over. You know how many people tell me like, nigga, you got money, nigga, chill, fuck that. Right. 
Like everything, like you supposed to say fuck that to everything because of money. Yeah, they You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, if you you done this already, you done that already, you don't need to do a record with this artist. You don't need to. How the fuck you know what I need to do? Exactly. How you know where my how you know where, where I see myself at? What I'm building, so, yeah. Real shit. So it's like, man, they wanna they wanna keep you in a box. They wanna keep you theirs. They wanna keep you their little treasure. You know what I'm saying? And, but I thought like niggas who I fuck with, whether if it's an actor, whether if it was a nigga. A basketball player. You ever see your back on your nigga ride the bench? Yo, they got he 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 gave he gave twenty five minutes in this game. You like to see shit like that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Even right. if you got to get it at another team, it don't matter. Cause it's about him. We fuck right. with him. You know what I'm saying? So, but what I learned about that is niggas don't fuck with me. Exactly. That's what I learned about because that. I, they don't I, fuck with I me. I said that out today. I said, damn, look like y'all nigga playing defense. Mm -hmm. Real shit. I ain't shit. talking about what y'all saying. See, mm -hmm. I don't never give a fuck what a nigga say. I'm looking at you niggas. And looking at what y'all doing, look like y'all nigga playing defense. Mm -hmm. Ah, these niggas hating. Not real Coach shit. Coach took me playing defense. Real shit. Interrupting this shit, bothering this shit, stealing from this shit. Mm -hmm. Close to me playing defense. And they'll try to convince you, sneak past your common sense and say, damn, I love you, bro. That love you word get a nigga ass mm -hmm. flipped every time. Yep, yep. Especially when it's history there. Sometimes, man, and it's un it's uncomfortable ignoring history. It's uncomfortable. That shit is uncomfortable, but it's necessary it's uncomfortable. sometimes. Right, right. It's like, nah, fuck that. I've been knowing you 10 years. Nigga, mm -hmm. you foul. You foul. And you ain't that same person. Fuck you, you man. that same person. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't rocking like that. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't be mad at me no more. Fuck that. Yeah, Real shit. and I'm standing on that. And, and we was talking about everybody want a little homie to rapper. Why you think niggas want a little homie to rapper? Niggas wanna, niggas wanna. Cause do of that. the status. Cause of the status. They wanna, they wanna let you know, like, they wanna let you know, like, yeah, you done that, you done that, but nigga, I'm still me. Yeah. Nigga, I remember, nigga, I remember you ain't had that. Mm. Yeah, remember, nigga, remember you ain't had that. Nigga, I remember when you used to wear my shit. Mm. Ooh, they used to wear my shit, nigga. The, he a dangerous nigga. He a dangerous he nigga. He a dangerous ho He a dangerous ass, nigga. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a dangerous. Used to wear my shit, nigga. No, he, he a dangerous, dangerous nigga. nigga. And, and, nigga like, and you done got home. He don't mm. even respect the process, the progress. Nah. He a dangerous man. Nigga, nigga swear it was because that sh that shirt he let a nigga wear. Nigga wouldn't have got on without I my really shirt. I really should have never took that shirt from your monk that ass. That bullshit ass shirt. <laughs> you know that what bullshit saying? ass shirt. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I hate it for niggas, man. I hate it for... You ever th thought about doing a um, a joint tape outside of the home team? Man, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, who you? Who? Uh, I always, well, especially like the home team. Uh, Kiss. Mm, you know oh what I'm saying? God. Definitely kiss. Benny and Kiss tape. That'll fuck it you know up. I mean, real shit. That'll fuck it up. That'll right go there. stupid. Yeah. Benny and Kiss tape. That'll go how, nuts. How you think that nigga been keeping it? That dude, they've been doing this too long to still be that like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. relevant, that polished, mm -hmm. and just he just stood. On, he just stood on business. He became a he became a staple. He became a staple of this shit by working hard and and, and never. And never really showing his hand, you know what I mean? You know, twenty year, twenty plus year career. He bet he been through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just came, he just hustled, stayed with his brothers, and hustled, and people admired that, and always stayed looking good, pulling up with a new chain on Benz, fuck that, with a new record out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with, with the niggas, John, right? The with the niggas with a new record out, yeah. going to get him to get on a record. To you know even touch y'all up there. Exactly. They so they couldn't touch up there without him. Kiss, kiss. The New York stamp. You know what I'm saying? Kiss the New York stamp. If you want a record and you wanted to rock up there, niggas are going to get kissed. You know what I'm saying? You want that feeling, you're going to get kissed. Same thing. As soon as I came out, nigga, I'm a rapper from New York too. I got to go get kissed. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? That nigga just, he's just, he's just a staple that means so much to the shit that we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. The man. whole Shout locks, out to the whole lot. Shout, Shout out to the Shout out to up north, man. We fuck mm -hmm. with that whole vibration up there. Real niggas all around the world. No, for sure. I've heard I've heard Joe Budden mention you a couple of times. What's your mm -hmm. relationship with him? Man, I fuck with Joe, man. I fuck with Joe. He's somebody who uh show love on his podcast and every time I got to meet him, we always kicking and he always salute. He always tell niggas, keep going, you know what right. I mean? Like you said, like he gonna he gonna he gonna shoot them little small words of encouragement. He right. gonna uh he gonna extend his platform, you know what I mean? And and, and to me, you know what I mean, that's that's like Handling business. That's right. what he's supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's what he's supposed yeah, to do. Yeah. For Especially the upper... what you being from. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? I, I respect important. that. I respect yeah, that. Because there's a sure. lot of niggas who turn their back on that. Like you said, a lot of niggas playing defense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I go by loan. All of my interviews with everyone that you love.
It's available on Patreon.com. It's up there, podcast, ad-free, as well as the show with just me, where I talk directly to the culture. Plenty more perks. I see you there. Let's get back to the show. Sure. You know what I mean? So. And it's important we all start identifying. Damn, look like niggas playing defense mm-hmm. around here. Mm-hmm. I'm on to you niggas now. But they don't like that. They don't, call, they don't like when you no, call no, them out on that man, shit. Man. That shit uncomfortable for niggas who think they mm-hmm. sneaking. You know, you ever catch a nigga sneaking, boy, that's uncomfortable. Boy, you ever had some money come up missing? Not not nobody close. I'm saying mm-hmm. like account issues or mm-hmm. Fat Joe was speaking about uh, that. Did I ever have some? No, no, no I didn't. Matter of fact, no, no, I didn't. Something small, you know, nigga. But it's small, but it's big. You know, yeah. a nigga, a nigga's trying to speak on my behalf and getting some money for a feature. Yeah, you know what I'm saying never like got that. to me. Yeah, some street niggas too hit me up like, yo, That's man, we we trying to get that, we trying to get that verse done so we can send the other half. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. As soon as that happened, I knew what it was. So somebody who done it before, you know what I mean? And, and niggas who nigga who. Who we provided opportunity for, you know? How that's do you another choose thing. that? Yeah, how do you choose your team like that? Like I know, bro, I know mm-hmm. he gonna keep it solid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and and I know you got other people that operate on your behalf. How do you choose that? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Cause money come through them dudes. Opportunity, cause they can say no to something like when y'all saw me at Slim Huskies, you just like mm-hmm. now nah, get bro number. Me and him talk all the time mm-hmm. since then. Mm-hmm. Like we been Christmas, right, right. Thanksgiving, anything like just. What bro, bro, good man. Damn, the house caught on fire. What was that? This he, he straight. How mm-hmm. he good man? Thank you, send your prayers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Just shit. but, how do you pick your team? And we'll get into the fire thing. But how do you pick your team like that? Man, basically. Want, shit, we pick the team with the team. A lot of times we court niggas, we bring them around, just see, like, oh, you wanna you wanna fuck with the gang? Whether if you're a rapper, whether you're a and you're a producer, huh, come here, we gonna be here, huh? Come here, we gonna be at this session, huh? Or do this. So we like to see how niggas work. You know how you know what I mean? It's like anything. It's it's, it's, it's like a corporation. It is a corporation. So you know niggas play their position first. You know the sneaky niggas play they play their position first. But right. we like to court niggas, see niggas in action first. Right. So like, okay, nah. But we, but we back there watching the whole time. Do you put any money at risk in that, though? No, I don't. I don't. So I don't how do you no really money. know? Because the opportunity ain't there to the money mm-hmm. is at risk, right? That's a fact. That's a He's fact. He's had money at risk on your behalf, mm-hmm. I imagine. So it's like, I, I know he what he going to do with the shot clock buzzer beater. Mm-hmm. I know he going to get me the ball. Mm-hmm. See? When he get try to take the shot, he going to get me the exactly. ball. Real shit. How do you know who going to get you the ball if the money ain't on the table? Man. Because there's people who are pitched to you to replace the people you got in place. Yeah, they they, they try that dumb shit. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, a lot of niggas. Cause I got niggas around me who I just met in the last four years. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm a street nigga. Been running with the same niggas for 10, 15 years. Right. Some of them niggas be like, yo, why? Why? I, I need to be doing that job. Right. Man, that you. That's not your job. Right. Or if you would have. This is a crazy thing about my team, though. Since we speaking of that, these niggas. Hold it down and do what they know they got to do. Right. I'm not sitting around telling niggas what to do. Right. Niggas know what need to be done. And that's another thing right. that I pick up on. Like, niggas who know what need to be done. Like, if I got to sit down and tell you, like, yo, we need to do this, we need to do this, that's sucker energy out of yeah, you. Know yeah, I mean? like, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, reject I could, all sucker energy. Real shit. Yeah. So it's like, sit down. And like when you get in a position where we're courting you, and you pulling up to the venues while we doing shows, and we letting you rock, and we pull, letting you pull up to interviews. You might be sitting outside this room, right. and you pulling up to certain situations. Watch, <laughs> that's what we're telling you to pull Pick up for. Game, so man. you know what to do. Okay, okay, yeah. that's what Harlem doing. Right. Oh, okay, that's what. Ja- okay, City Boy moving like that. Right. Okay. Oh, damn, Benny. Huh, next time yo, nigga might be walking like you need water. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, like, see, when niggas don't understand about this rap shit, when we in the streets. We need street niggas around us, you know. Man. Street niggas who gonna do what they gonna do. Yeah, niggas don't be niggas be niggas don't be on that no more. Right. So we need niggas who gonna who gonna bust the moves, who gonna who gonna who gonna cater to us in this in this life that we live in. Right. Make you the know? phone calls, get the walls, grab the bags, unlock the door, make sure that the path clear. So oh, fast, shit. nigga, I got all this shit off <laughs> no, trying to shit. get in this goddamn That's club. It. That's it. That's nigga, it. Nigga, let me sneak in. Pat, yeah, clear the path out right quick, man. Get me in there, like. You don't need the niggas around, like, man. Had that nigga clear the nah, path out? Nah, five. nah, nah. I wanna. I'm walking in with him, nigga. Yeah. Now yeah. let's get in there, family. We family. Mm-hmm. And this is a goal we trying to reach at all times. Quit looking at me as I ain't nothing but representation of the goal. That's another Feel thing. What I'm saying? Another thing you gotta remind niggas yeah. that I always let my niggas know, like, I got the ball. Yeah. This bitch get lateral though. You know what I'm saying? Be ready, and that's another thing. Niggas don't even be ready for the past. You gotta mm. prepare yourself for the past. 
that's what I did. When I came around, I seen Wes in the meetings. I seen Conway going crazy, mixtape after mixtape. I seen these niggas doing a merch. I was preparing myself. I right. wasn't ready to start that day. Right. I was too much going on, nigga. This shit, this shit, real million dollar business. Right. <laughs> I'm sure this shit take time. Yes. So it was like, nigga, nigga sat back and watched. We just trying to prepare myself for my shot. Right. And I was ready. That my feet was set. Motherfucking fingertips on the ball rotating. That's it. I done got the you know game from the. Niggas yeah. just want the ball because they in the corner open. Nigga, you open because it can, ain't nobody going. You ain't. You can't go hit the shot. Man, that nigga sitting at the three point line. <laughs> He'll take the shot. Greedy ass. <laughs> Real shit. Niggas not check you because they know you're not going to hit the shot. You dead Prepare nigga, yourself. Yo, get down by the goal, man. What the fuck is I'll you doing? I'll get you the ball, nigga. <laughs> Real shit. You riding that at the three. Tell me some here I cut. Man. You funny shooting three point, nigga. Prepare yourself for the fucking yeah, shot. For sure. Niggas don't be knowing that, man. Man, that's deep. What what happened with that fire, man? Was there anything? How did that happen? Man, my, uh, my girl's brother left the lamp on in his room. The lamp done that? The lamp done that. The lamp done that. And usually she be knocked the fuck out. Sleep. Nigga, that shit happened 4 30 in the morning. She sleep. Knocked the fuck out. She heard the, the the smoke detector beeping. Lightly though. It wasn't even loud. You know, I'm in LA at the time. I'm not even there. She did it by herself. She motherfucking she go grab the grab the extinguisher and try Damn. to put the little shit, but it was out. Nigga, the extinguisher broke, it don't work. She can't even put the motherfucker out. Oh, no. That wouldn't even happen. Oh, no. Extinguisher broke, so then, then the fire grow and she called the ambulance. She ran outside, she banging on people's door too. Like, yo, yo, help, help. No, no, she ran, she left her phone in there. So she had to bang so other people called, but she called too before, before she left her phone out. Nigga, the ambulance come without, the, I mean the ambulance, the fire truck come. She called a fire truck. Them motherfuckers come not even suited and booted. What? Real shit. They came Can't like, even save the day. Nope. They came up like, damn, no, nah, they said it was smoke. I'm like, no, nah, ain't nobody say it was smoke. The neighbors like, ain't nobody say it was smoke. Cause I called too. I know even if she said it was smoke, I called. And I ain't know that I said it's smoke. Saying, well, that smoke that fire. <laughs> Real shit. Fire. I thought you niggas know that. Yeah. So so they came and they was looking. And they 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 had to get dressed and shit was taking forever too. You know what I'm saying? So that shit didn't even have to go like that. Niggas could have put that shit out real mm. quick. Yeah. That's fucked up. Did the insurance you you good though? Oh, yes, yes. Good. Yeah. Insurance took perfect care of the family. I can't even see like how people could go through that shit without insurance. Right. I can see how people could lose everything. Man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that shit insured, man. Man, cause you can lose cash and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's a loss. Mm -hmm. That's just a L. Mm -hmm. You Not can't real even shit. get that back. No, that's a fact. You can't got no way to prove it was in there, man. Maybe unless you did a deposit or withdraw right. Maybe got it. I don't know. That's a fight, that, though. That's I don't a think the insurance company. That's a fight. It. Or, or you might have the you might have a good insurance adjuster who know what you do. Real, like, who nah, know what you, you do? Like, yo, I really, I yeah. really had a hundred bands in there. I'm like, sure. you know what I'm saying? That shit burnt the fuck For up. Sure. And you gotta have your policy. Your policy gotta be that too. That even the cover. You gotta that. have a yeah, good policy. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's game niggas don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, not just insurance. Don't don't have that twenty thousand dollar insurance. That's for somebody else. You got you got shit in there that costs fifty thousand. Yeah, that you need that wrong. insurance yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Real you need shit. something that to like. They was talking to understand the insurance game with the jury. Like some of the insurance companies require you to have a safe in the house. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Just as part of the insurance thing, so you can prove that. At any moment, if it come, it could have been locked up or was locked up. Or, no real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just little things like that that we are not know that it could be a stipulation in your insurance clause. Yeah, right. And you'll be fucked and over. And you'll be fucked when they come out there to your house as an adjuster and don't see a little safe somewhere. Mm -hmm. No you real know? shit. And that would have saved your 300000 mm -hmm. and may got to, you know, That's robbed or something. So just little stuff like that. We got to pass that game down. You know what I mean? Um... What you got going right now? What you working on? Man, we working on uh, Kings and Pawns, the movie, you know what I'm saying? And the soundtrack. Working on that. Uh, my boy, he ain't about to drop an album. I'm ex executive producing that. OT The Real about to drop some shit. OT, um, executive producing that shit. Working on my uh, Dev Jam debut with Hit Boy. Uh, what else? What else? I'm, what else I'm doing, Harlem? I'm doing all type of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real shit, you know what I mean? You, when you fucking with Dev Jam, you know, you, 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 you. Carrying that over there. Who else Def Jam got over there? Man, Def Jam, to be honest with you, they got a lot of artists. But this is what I'm going to say. It's like, 
I feel like I'm I'm carrying it because you know I'm wearing it. Right. That's what a lot I'm of saying. niggas. I feel like they, they just quiet. they just doing business with these yeah. niggas. You know, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm Dev Jam. Mm. I'm gonna talk about it in my interviews. I, I, I love Dev Jam right. and everybody over there, and I'm excited to to work to to work over there and, and put my foot on this. Legendary Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So exactly, first nigga from my city ever be signed to Def Jam. Right. So I mean, I'm not just over there like. Feeling like I just took the money. I, do you I think? Work with do anybody. you think that a label can appreciate that? I know you don't care because that's the spirit you operate with. But I don't, do you I don't. think? I think these group of people over here can. I told. I told a lot of labels no because I didn't feel like they can appreciate that right. shit. I walked in one label and they just kept talking about the big artists that they had and yo we got this we got this and I walked right the fuck out of there. Right. Some shit niggas are killed to sign to and this was two three years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even I just signed my Dev Jam contract last year. I mean this year I just signed this shit this year and it's like nigga this was three years ago and I wasn't fucking with them because a nigga gotta be Transparent. I mean, I gotta know what's going on. Y'all gotta, like I said, I'm an old school nigga. You gotta like this shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I need you to yeah. like this. Shit. And I need to feel that information, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see me look over there, and and certain things like that they cut up. Sometimes you'll see me look over there or something. You know, mm -hmm. when a nigga busting a rap or maybe in the booth. If I look out there, mm -hmm. I I'm, I'm, I need something. I need something. No yeah, real don't shit. do me like that. Mm -hmm. I look out there and everybody like this right here. Nah, fuck no. You done fucked fuck over no. me. I you might know, cause go to the studio and play a beat. Skip it. Nigga might be like, no, nah, go back to that. I'm like, yeah, that's what I need. Exactly. Talk about it. Exactly. Nigga. You like that one better? That shit hit yeah, me. You right. Nigga, yeah. you right. And you know, you, know my, you know what vibe mm -hmm. I be on, mm -hmm. too. How I miss that. You writing a motherfucker I mean, back there. Son, give me something. Yeah, give me something yeah. in this motherfucker. Because other than that, I can, I can go to the end zone about this shit by myself. Nigga. Come on, man. Come on, Coach man. me, baby. That's yeah. what I need, nigga. Yeah, put something in this shit now. That's why I love working with all you see all the producers I work with from Harry Fraud. I always talk about this from Harry Fraud to Derringer to Hit Boy to uh, to Primo. I mean, all them niggas is all them niggas is giving input on it. You know what I'm saying? what I'm saying? All them niggas is giving input. That's what a nigga really be needing. Yeah, man. I think that we we in our rawest form. We we are talented, man, but we need each other to coach each other. Like it's important to say, no, no, I fuck with that. Ten more crack commandments. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. bad mom, like you added to the added value yeah, shit, to that. Real shit, right? Mm -hmm. It's important, nigga. Say, man, I like that show you doing, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, or shit like that. We gotta start giving each other. Then let's talk about the ten more crack commandments. Mm -hmm. What what made you do that? I mean, just just knowing that you know what I mean. That the game evolved. You know what I'm saying? The street shit involved. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's social media involved in it. Uh. It's, it's, it's scamming involved in it, you know what I'm saying? There's new levels on the game that a nigga just wanted to speak about, you know what I mean? Right. And, I, and I felt I felt like I was one of the few niggas who could speak about it, so I wanted to do it right. instead of leave it up to another nigga, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, who so probably, wanted can, to do who it, probably you know can't mean? speak from that perspective. Like I said, yeah. Primo made the beat, got his blessing, got a Diddy blessing, and that was that was a That's big part big. of the record, you yeah. know what I mean? And nigga wanted, to, uh, nigga wanted to do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think, like I say, adding value to those things, man, sometimes paying homage don't happen enough, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. when you do something like that and pass the game down, I always think that passing the game down is the most important tool that we have mm -hmm. with a platform, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's why these conversations, we got to do them as much as we can. Man, got to, got to, yeah. man, let niggas, you know, this shit be therapy. Therapeutic, man. man. Nigga come down, man. Nigga need to be talking about this shit. Man, this shit is love, man. What's on your mind? What what do, what do you think it costs you to be who you are today? Man, shit costs me everything, my nigga. Cost me everything. It's, it's, I got friends who I'm not as close as I used to be with. You know what I'm saying? I got people who saying I'm, I changed. I, I'm different. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, nigga done everything in the streets you possibly could do. I let them bitches unscathed. It still ain't enough for I'm me. saying a nigga turned to a rapper and got shot. <laughs> you feel man. what I'm saying? So it's like, man, it's everything, you know what I mean? Just not having no guidance, following behind the wrong niggas. You know what I'm saying? Listening to the wrong information. Like I said, I got here when I was at when I was thirty two, taking a lot of people information about my career. Uh not having not having the right tools, you know what I'm saying? Nigga gave up everything. So that's why when I got this opportunity, nigga, I set my ass down. I prepared for my shot. I'm like, nigga, you can't be, you know. My whole team was powerball and running around doing shit when I got this opportunity. Right. I sat down, they're like, what this nigga doing? Right. Niggas going with every day, driving forums, pulling up, buying jewelry. Right. I'm chilling. I'm borrowing money for rent. You know what I'm saying? I was doing shit like that because 
I mean, I feel like this was my last shot, nigga. Right. I had to give everything to get here. Ain't no platforms in Buffalo. Man. I be one. I be wanting. I be wanting the artists to know that, nigga. You gonna give everything. Don't think you are gonna get nowhere, and a nigga gonna give you something. If a nigga give you something, it's because he can get something in return. It's right. business. Right. But don't never think a nigga gonna give you nothing. You have to give you all. And then you know the, to get to look how how you look and to do certain business, you can't get this given to you. No, you can't at all. Yeah, certain shit can't be gave to you. Man. At all, they not they not giving what I got. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no line for you. Know what I mean, hey, man, shit. nigga, giving this. Here. That's that's why niggas salute it so much because they know like niggas niggas when they got that yeah, from the mud. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Just cause a nigga won't give it don't mean you can't get it. Mm, mm, but mm. That ain't that's how game you right gonna, there. You feel me? A lot of niggas think that. A lot of niggas want to have shit if ain't nobody give it to them. Man, you know what I mean? Ain't that a bitch? That's a a lot of niggas won't have shit if niggas don't give it. Niggas to ain't give it to him. I don't want to be that nigga, man. I, I don't can't wanna be, be that him. Nigga. That's uncomfortable for my family, right? To live in that uh, that place. Yeah, you know that's what, what this rap shit about, man. This shit, going back to what we first started about, man. This rap shit and did so much good for niggas, man. Especially me. You right. know what I'm saying I, I see smiles on my kids' faces. I see my homies running around this motherfucker doing what they like to do. Right. You know what I'm saying and my mom. You know what I mean. It's everything, you know what I mean? Get to see my people in a good light. Nigga just right. hosted Thanksgiving. I'm man, saying it felt good. That you know kind man? of shit. Like that kind of shit. Like with the big crib and y'all chill, we good. That kind here. of shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Love. Nobody come and nobody got to bring nothing. Just bring your kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? So shit like that, you know what I mean? Man, like that, that, that shit love. just feel good, man. That yeah. shit done that for my family. This rap shit, man. Man, and people don't, people discredit that. But again, we got to sit next to each other and amplify that side of mm -hmm. it, right? And amplify the teaching. Mm -hmm. You know, nigga need to know how a nigga done this shit mm -hmm. and what it took. Real shit. Because this shit ain't free. Come mm -hmm. at a cost. Come at a fee. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you gave your all. You know, you gave everything you had for this shit. But um, do you think that, do you think that any of your loved ones feel entitled to your, to your bag? Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Yeah. Loved ones, family. How friends. you deal with that though? I'm saying, what do you do? What do you? I mean, for for one, I'm 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 a, I'm a do, I'm a do what I can for the people I love. And yeah. if I can't do it, I can't do How it. How do you know what you can do? Mm, for the most part, nigga, a nigga is 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 learning that right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not giving money away. Like, like my birthday just passed. Right. Like, it's called Axel. I ain't giving no money away on my right. birthday. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and to be honest with you, I'm a sturdy nigga. So, like, a lot of niggas who was there for me from the get-go got them alley -oops. Yeah, yeah, you in position. Got them alley yeah. So, I'm not worried about, like, if a nigga, like, man, that nigga, like, it's, it's somebody, you know what I mean? Who, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. all my niggas got them alley -oops, So. Right. You know what I mean? You know, motherfuckers call acts for crazy shit. Motherfuckers call acts for whips. Yeah. Acts for a car. They Mama be really for a house. Keep disrespectful, man. No, hell yeah. They they want to test you. They want to yeah. test you and see if you can get it. Some motherfuckers don't even want to be around a nigga if they not getting nothing. A nigga got so much. They like, man, what I'm around that nigga for? He ain't feeding me. Damn. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, nigga, we kicking it That's like we used to. That's unfortunate nigga feel Real like shit. that, man. That's crazy, I'm man. your homeboy. You grew up with me. You grew up with me, and then nigga. you got to get something to be in the room with me, man. That's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Love, and, and it be, love. And it be niggas who 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 wasn't operating on those terms with you. Exactly. When when those terms came in the play of our friendship, mm. because they never was there. Mm. You know what I mean? But nigga, nigga just learning. You know what I mean? I, I now I'm only doing shit who want to. I'm only doing shit for people who want to do shit for themselves, though. That's where I'm at with it now. Facts. You know what I mean? Like if. I'm just I'm just coming I'm just coming to tell you like yeah I'm trying to get this I get this like man that ain't gonna get you that nah. hustle ain't gonna get you yeah, that yeah you know yeah what I'm saying? for sure real shit I think um, I think man you know when I look at this game and I look at like Kyrie I was talking to my homeboy 19 Keys it's mm -hmm. a dude that Kyrie Irving kind of look at for some of his guidance so you know want some of his teachings mm -hmm. do you think public negotiation or public showing of like your intentions or your feelings is a good, I you know I don't know if that's good to be public about mm -hmm. certain things. Like. I, I, now man. it is from a standpoint of they no, need to, you know what I'm saying. They need to, but let's I'm gonna tell you some real shit right here, cause we all, cause I do it sometimes. Even if I make a comment about you know what I mean what I'm going through whatever, but well, when it, we fail to realize we're aliens, we're unrelatable. 
You know what I'm saying? Me believe I left a comment about marriage. Like, man, you know, females want to get married a lot. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Niggas was like, man, no, they don't, bitches. And I forgot, like, damn, these, these bitches don't want to marry y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you right, you know, nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I forgot. Yeah. Like, I'm speaking yeah. on I'm speaking right. on my Privilege. shit. Privilege. You right. Yeah. So they don't want to marry you, nigga. Exactly. You don't know the feeling. You I don't said, know. Man, they bothered me. Man. <laughs> exactly. Live, you know what I mean? But it's a lot of times, you know. Like a guy like Kyrie, I'm all speaking to how you feel. I'll stand behind Kyrie. Right. But what I see what it is, even with me, even with Ye, is that we're speaking on the internet to a bunch of people who can't relate to right. us or and relate see, to our thoughts. I'm I, you know what I'm saying? I, we I think we can't, they can't, yeah. but they can't. Right. And I stand with them as well. Sometimes I think we confuse standing on our truth with speaking on our truth. That's a fact. Real shit. Yeah. Sometimes standing on your truth ain't necessarily speaking on it, especially when you're powerful. Mm -hmm. Remain powerful and throw the ad loop to the men mm -hmm. speaking on it. Especially when you see they they waiting for an instant to shove shovel dirt on you. Man, like you might want to say something, but I can't because y'all gonna try to shovel yeah, dirt. Yeah, it's on a you. trick bag. You feel what I'm saying? Go on the trick bag. We try yeah, to stay yeah. out the trick bag. No trick bag. I'm just find that got to be creative and find different ways to get to get our word out there, man. Because right. because they, they're using our words against us. You know what I'm saying? And you got to clarify. You got to keep saying it, even if it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that, man? I never meant that. I ain't say that. Mm -hmm. Man, what do you mean by that, man? I never meant. You got to mm -hmm. literally, even though that shit uncomfortable, for the sake of the way that content is consumed mm -hmm. with these click titles, this Instagram one minute, two minute type, mm -hmm. right? So they're going to take the, out of the eight minutes of you explaining, they're going to take the part where they asked you that little part and you wouldn't answer. Mm -hmm. And they're going to run that. No real and, shit. And so that's always a thing, understanding the technique and and, the, and and all of that is important. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. What, what you got going, man? What's on your mind, though? Man, I mean, you know, a nigga just, a nigga just, I'm at the, I'm at the, I feel like I'm at the money years of the game. A nigga, I, I feel like I've been in the game for five years. Five years ago, a nigga was standing behind Eminem rapping on the BET Awards. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The first five years in the game, is that when you get your notoriety up? That's when you get your setup. Your next five, that's the paper years. That's when the paper come in. Because everybody know what you about. These, these, these execs you couldn't get in the room with, they watch you now. Now you got their phone number. Right. You know what I'm saying? The shit that you wanted to do, you doing it now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's so it's now it's trying to uh, move to the next level. This this is the next level from where a nigga was at the right. first time. A nigga about to take another level. So it's just the lock in. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know, nigga, nigga fighting against time. You know what I mean? We, we, we see these artists come and go. A nigga, a nigga want to go down in history and want to be one of the niggas who did it. Stood around like Kiss. Want to be the niggas who 10 years from now, niggas still here working in this lane. Nigga don't got to be in the limelight. The nigga still got to be you got getting money spirit. off of this shit. You got that spirit, though. Mm -hmm. You got that hustler spirit. Really I know shit. niggas feel it. like, and, that, and I was telling niggas, I don't care if it's whole, whoever it is. They relate to that spirit. They relate to that yeah, shit. They relate yeah, to it. Yeah, that they shit relate universal, to it. man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's one thing. They language is universal. Like, just that hustler spirit. Oh, he gonna get it done. Yeah, that ties together. That yeah, ties together. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? for sure. And, and I ain't gonna hold you. The big homies look at us like that. And, that, yeah. and that's an honor, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you stopping by, man. I know you got probably got to make a run, you, you know? know? And this, this, this is one of the interviews that I wanted to do, my nigga. Appreciate I appreciate you, uh... Setting this shit up, man, and, and, and moving your schedule, too. You know what I mean? I know you're moving all around this motherfucker. Man, I'm trying. It's love, you know I mean? man. But Appreciate hell, yeah. You. We gonna do it again, man. You gotta come to Buffalo. Man, anytime. Come Let me Buffalo, know. Man. We wanna make this regular, because, again, we don't do the... The interviews about hey how did you grow up we exactly. really just chop it up mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. got to make that regular because the kids the young niggas watching us get us a couple of pictures brother i got you yeah mm -hmm. before we go but but the young niggas are watching us right and and it's important that they see us just chop game yeah, yeah. here this real shit more yeah. as they hear the other shit got to yeah. even this shit out now yeah. that's a fact yeah man I'm with that because can't nobody talk like we talk man mm -hmm. you know niggas don't got your experience niggas don't got my experience and they don't got your intent like even with Def Jam, how long? When do you re up again? What are you looking at? Cause they passing out money all over this industry mm -hmm. right now. See, my deal, my deal with Def Jam is, I sign it's for one and one, meaning I sign for one album, and they got the option, and it's a licensing deal. You know what I'm mm, saying okay. that's what people want to know. You know what that's I mean? That's deep. a licensing deal for right. five years. Licensing deal. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? That's so good guy. Nigga, nigga gonna own that shit, that's and it's and game. it's a profit share. You know what I mean? So. 
That's good you know game. Because right what there. I be telling a lot of niggas, man, because you know, because somebody said that, like, yo, he went to go sign a Dev Jam. They gave, they ain't give him nothing. It's like, my nigga. You broke the mold with that deal. No, real shit. Yeah. You know I mean, because niggas got to think, like, they, they ain't come get me off a of street corner right. rapping to a nigga beat bopping. They ain't come get me off of it. Man. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they respect that, the transparency. And that's and that's what that told me. I'm only fucking with people like that. Like I said, they went in the office, they telling me how, what I mean, they, really a nigga on the phone with Snoop and said, like, huh, I, I, I want right. that. It's done. You know what I mean? That let me know, like, them niggas cause when these other labels ain't doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Real shit unless you unless you're a nigga who's selling a bunch of records. Right. Unless you're a nigga who's doing all of that shit on the radio thirty five times a day. And Def you know Jam is Def Jam. They resources are they resources. You know what I mean? Culture. Yeah. Big culture over yeah, there. They Hell them. yeah. Yeah, they Big them. culture over there. And and a the nigga wanna be a part of the renaissance of Def Jam. Or wanna be a part of the Def Jam coming back together. Nigga wanna be a part of that, so hell yeah. Do they man. give you the the power? Did they give you imprint? Some leverage over there too, or what? Did you take your imprint somewhere else? Yo, I mean, I mean, they did. That's why I can't complain with him. My boy Lovey just finished his deal at Varick Street, and the that's same dope. people who, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's it's dope. the same people. So that's, that's just that's fire. You that's know what dope. I mean? Nigga can't ask for more. What's going on? It's your boy Big Loon. Right now, if you looked at this clip and you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Watch the next video. We on the road to 100k subscribers on YouTube. If you're a fan, come to Patreon. We got exclusive videos there and also the show with just me alone. Salute to the supporters. Verify your customers and know who's your viewers. It's Up There Podcast. Let's get it. Yo, what up? This Big Loon. This is It's Up There Podcast.